Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to the 6 News Roundup. Today we're running all the Rainbow Six News over the last week or so. And of course this week we got the Crystal Guard season released on all platforms, but with a huge surprise on the PlayStation 5 and that was the blocking of mouse and keyboard adapters so they no longer work on the PS5 version of the game. Now at first we were actually unsure if this was a Ubisoft thing or a Sony thing or them working together, but now it's come clear this is a hardware block. What they're doing on the PS5 version of the game, they are only allowing control from a PS5 controller and that is a little bit more unique than of course a PS4 one and the emulation that happens on those keyboard and mouse uh, adapters isn't capable of emulating the PS5 controller. Now there is an extraordinarily easy way to get around this which just means you lose your next gen features on the PS5 if you figure out how to do it but the problem here is potentially bigger in a way or you can also see this is very good news as well. So the good news is of course this is managing to block some cheaters on PS5. The bad news is that it's only a PS5 thing, it's a hardware thing so on Xbox it can't be done, PS4 it can't be done either. But the ray of sunshine here is that the creators of the emulator haven't got a way around it, at least not yet. I'm, I'm sure they will and I don't think it'll take them too long, but for the moment they are not able to do it and they don't think they're going to have it done in any short term. So that is an amazing win. But the big problem is that of course we are getting cross-platform next year between consoles. And we're going to have PS4s being able to cheat. We're going to have PS5s not being able to cheat. But there is a workaround. I guess they might block that workaround as well in the future. And then we're going to have Xbox players being able to cheat. And of course, Xbox next gen players being able to cheat. And because their controllers aren't anything too special, then that means that there's no way to block them there. So you might end up with PS5 players actually having a disadvantage when it comes to this whole cheater kind of playing field. So that is potentially the only downside here. Um, but there definitely are some good sides and well done to Ubisoft. That's a big win. Even if it can be getting around right now quite easily, still damn impressed that there's any kind of movement on that. So very cool. Now let's move on to something else. So in my video of uh, 13 great things coming with the new season, one of the things I mentioned was something that's tiny and really it doesn't matter if you get it or not because it's probably going to end up just being a duplicate or whatever. But there was supposed to be an esports pack in the store as a free gift and this would become the new season it was in the patch notes well it's no longer in the patch notes it got removed and of course it's not in the new season so presumably this is a communication error and either this is something that they're going to do in the future or something they were going to do but cancelled but either way there is no free esports pack in the store like the patch notes said and there's not been any official comment on this either so we don't know if this was just a simple mistake or they pulled it for some reason or what but that esports pack is gone now let's move on to good news which is the mmr update so when a cheater is banned this can happen mostly on pc but it can happen on console you might see it when a ddoser gets banned at the end of a season and as such you'll get an mmr rollback which means that all the games the cheater was in gets deleted, which means you get either points back or taken away from you while they are changing that. So first of all, the MMR squad restrictions has been reverted to 1,000. It was 700, which made it very hard to play with friends. And then the MMR rollback, they've actually taken that and it only does recent matches now. So instead of all the games being deleted from the history, only some of them. And you will no longer lose points when a cheater is banned. So that means whenever you see that pop up saying MMR rollback, it'll always be giving you points. Even if it's just a single one or a hundred points, it'll be giving you always positive points, which is really freaking good. Now, hopefully the player base doesn't somehow figure out like a way of cheating that or something, because I wouldn't be surprised with this player base. But let's move on to more good news and that is the charity bundle. So I get a new charity bundle for Thunderbird with this new season with the money made from this going to charity, which is very good. But it also gives us a little peek behind the curtain on how much cosmetics make Ubisoft in money because they revealed that the last two seasons cosmetic bundles they've released for the Sixth Guardian have made $200,000. So that's a hundred grand per season for a bundle, which is... Pretty amazing considering it, that is a charity bundle that is probably relatively niche that you're buying. It's not probably like an elite, and I would expect an elite probably sells more and say something like a battle pass of course sells way more. 
So giving us a little peek into the background there that these kind of things can make like a hundred grand a season, which is a lot of money and that is just a single bundle a season. Now let's move on to talk about the battle pass because I have a theory here because it's rather disappointing. It's It's got the usual amount of stuff in it, but there's also a hell of a lot of charms. There's not as many cool items as there usually is in the battle pass. So this one feels very underwhelming. And I've got this theory. We had the customization for the elites this season, which is just not very good. Like it is awesome to have, but it's not the final version that we want, which we will get maybe next season. Or at least the devs have told us that it is coming in the future. Uh, I'm just guessing next season because I'm hoping it might show up then. And I'm wondering if they were supposed to have that elite customization done for this season and would have had player cards and dances in this battle pass, which I think would have filled it out to make it seem much more normal. I think it's just rather lackluster this time. And then the final bit of news is just something I've noticed recently picking up more and more pace and that is we had the leaks that said Black Ice was going to be coming for all the weapons in the game. Now this reminds me of the previous leaks for Black Ice, I think it was probably more than a year ago, where they said Black Ice was going to come out on the shields and stuff like that. And this is just the thing about leaks. Take it with a grain of salt. Like there was literally people said that they were saving, you know, alpha packs just for this season to open them to hopefully get some of these black ices and stuff. And don't get too hyped up with leaks because some of these leaks end up being fake or incorrect. But anyway, that's just a little PSA on one I did used to have to fill the channel with uh, stuff like leak coverage because there wasn't enough content back in the day. Whereas now there's freaking tons to cover. But anyway, I would normally give uh, warnings in those videos saying, you know what, all of this stuff could end up being fake or wrong. Uh, there's nothing to take away from it here because you don't know if it's going to be correct or not. Don't get hyped up because of it. Anyway, let's end this video with some G2 merch. So the Koyu store is selling some official G2 merchandise. These are pins and keychains and they look freaking cool. I'm getting sent some from uh, Koyu, so I'm going to check them out once they arrive. And because I'm not into the Pro League at all, I'm not too fussed by it. I'll probably give them away on Twitter or something like that. But if you want to buy them, you can use the code ROSS5 to get yourself a discount and get them. And they do look really freaking cool. But I'll check them out in person pretty soon. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time.